Good morning everybody. Welcome to sunny Munich. We are here. This is our second day today. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off. We just won't discuss it. Danny really wants yes. to talk about it, but we just, we'll just start off today on a good note and we'll get going. We are in the Marienplatz, which is the main square of Munich. We are about to start a free walking tour of the city and what a great way to see the sights. I'm so excited. 14, 15, 16, 17. I can't take the excitement anymore. Buzzed about the Glockenspiel. Uh, of course, the main event during all of these royal weddings was always a jousting competition. So you're going to actually watch a jousting competition take place between a Bavarian knight wearing the traditional white uh, and blue Bavarian colors, and he's going to be facing off against a low tigre. So we've seen the Glockenspiel, tick number one on our tourist list for today. I think it's really unique and really different. Our guide Brett told us that the music that's playing is the original music and all the original equipment, with the little man behind that pushes all the buttons and turns all the cogs for it to go every single day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, this is the oldest parish church here in Munich, so it's adoringly known by the locals as Old Peter, all right? It's about 800 years old, and every 200 years it gets destroyed. Uh, this is actually the seventh reconstruction of this church. So our guide has given us some great information about the architecture in Munich and why it is so different to other places. A lot of the buildings were rebuilt pretty much the same way that they were before World War II happened, and actually a lot of the stonework was painted on, so that's why everything looks a little bit unique. It looks like we are on the set of a movie for all the world. We're in the Hofbrauhaus. I am butchering every single name in German, so <laughs> any German people watching, I'm so sorry. Okay, tour is finito. For anybody wondering about the tour, I will leave a link in the description box below. Highly recommend it if you like your history. It was a great way for us to pick some points on the map that we really wanted to go back and visit. We absolutely love our markets, we love our artisan crafts and some good food. If you like that as well, this is definitely the place to come. The second you enter the farmer's market area, it's just the smell, it's gorgeous. Everything is beautiful and artisan and super good quality. I wish I could take it all home with me. I love the fact that there's so many products here that I've never ever seen before. Even though that's a mushroom, I still haven't seen that in all the markets we've been in all over the world. I just love it. I'm all about that taste like that. Mm. It's finally food time. We came to this restaurant last night on recommendation of one of my friends, Tobias, who hopefully we will get a chance to meet tonight. It is this restaurant here. It is Augustine and Dom, and obviously I'm saying that with an Irish wine, so again, I apologize. But it was really amazing last night. We had a traditional Bavarian platter, and I've never tasted things like it before. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a little bit obsessed with posting pictures of my food. Today, because it's kind of lunch-ish time, we'll be going somewhere else for dinner. I've ordered a cheese plate, and Danny has got some pork knuckles, so I'm presuming it's going to be absolutely wonderful as good as it was last night. And as expected, it looks absolutely incredible. Got a mixture of cheeses and onions. And Danny has got his pork knuckle. And you've got a dumpling with it as well. Happy days. I think I've been off on the bread. <laughs> Let's Maybe. Try it. Mm. Very light kind of cream cheese. Delicious. It's pretty funny actually. The waiter goes to me when I ordered it. He's like, that's cheese and bread. Like, yes, yes it is. All right, so I'm gonna be real with you folks. There was a lady beside me who was eating a really nice meal and I was like, where did she get that? Because I did not see it on the menu. And we have discovered that there are extra food items on the German menu than on the English menu. I feel betrayed. <laughs> food was insane. Trying to take some nice pictures with my burr and again, look like a foot, like toes to be precise. But that's the belly's full. We are going to go and climb the Church of St. Peter and get a fabulous view of Munich. Although it is 299 steps. How excited are you to go 299 steps up that big beauty? To be honest, I'm excited to be up there. <laughs> I'm not so excited to get up there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. One, two, three, four, five. Are you holding up 10 steps in, Danny? I'm done. <laughs> four hours later. Fresh as a daisy. How are you, Danny? The view is absolutely worth it. 
I love the terracotta roofs of Munich. It's so beautiful. My advice would be wear decent shoes and just be aware that there is no lift to get up here. So you are going to climb those stairs and you are going to feel it. And also people are making their way down as you are making your way up. So it can get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit personal. And you get a bird's eye view of Marienplatz as well. This is where the Glockenspiel was playing this morning. Old Town Hall just here on the right. And the new Town Hall in front of us here. And our final stop today, everybody, is the English Gardens. You can see everybody swimming up ahead. Oh my God, that looks so fun. It's kind of a natural lazy river. It's so impressive. I'm so glad we made the walk here. There's no public transport into this area, so you do have to make the half an hour or so walk in. But wow, so cool and such a good buzz. I think it's time for another beer. We are going to enjoy ourselves. And with that said, I will wrap the vlog up here. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.